Hello, in this video we're going to practice evaluating the uh, derivative of various functions using the definition of a derivative. Uh, first thing is I'm going to write down the definition of a derivative at the top of the page. Uh, the derivative of function f is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of uh, f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Now, um, this formula will yield a formula for function f that allows you to plug in. It'll be in terms of the variable x. You can plug in any x value you want, and it'll give you the derivative at that particular point. Uh, so for starters, we're going to just start out with a basic quadratic equation. f of x is going to be x squared plus 2x minus 15. Uh, to utilize this, and, and I want to know what is slope of tangent line at x equals 2? That's my question. So um, as we start to utilize this formula, I have f of x. I need to know what f of x plus h is going to be. So I'm going to write this down. f of x plus h is going to be x plus h squared plus 2 times x plus h minus 15. we got to work this out. Uh, if you were to use FOIL and expand that with the distributed property, you get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And then here you get 2x. 2 times h is 2h minus 15. So we have f of x. We have f of x plus h. We're going to plug these into the formula and see what we get. f prime is the limit as h goes to 0. We've got x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 2x plus 2h sorry minus 15 and then all that minus x squared plus 2x minus 15 all over h so for starters we can definitely clean up some of this algebra Notice that h on the bottom cannot go to 0 right now. We can't plug in 0 here because that would cause us to be undefined. Uh, so we're going to just go and notice that x squared minus x squared, those can cancel out. Also, uh, 2x and minus 2x can cancel out. And then finally, negative 15 and minus a minus is a plus 15. Those can cancel out. So we're going to rewrite this. As a limit, as h goes to 0, we still got that h on the bottom. Up top, we have 2xh plus h squared plus 2h, <clears throat> all over h. So now what I want you to notice is that um, every single turn has an, has an h in it. And even though still if we put in 0, 0, 0, and 0, um, and we'd have a 0 over 0, we can... Um, that zero is, is something we can factor, that h is something we can factor out so that then we can plug in zero. So I'm going to just go ahead and factor uh, h out. And we get left over is 2x plus h plus 2 all over h. And now, as you can see, the h's cancel out. And we just have the limit as h goes to 0 of 2x plus h plus 2. And now if you let h go to 0 like that, that term disappears. And we get 2x plus 2. So my derivative formula is 2x plus 2. Now I call that the derivative formula because it is a formula written in terms of x that allows you to put in any x value at all and get the particular slope at that individual point. 
Um, so my original question was, let's examine x equals 2. So I'm going to plug in x equals 2 and say the derivative of this tangent line at 2, sorry, 2 times 2 plus 2 is 6. So I plugged in 2 and uh, uh, got 2 times 2 is 4 plus 2 makes 6. So the slope of this tangent line, I'm going to come up with a tangent line. A tangent line is in the form of y equals mx plus b because it is a linear function. Uh, my slope is 6 now. y equals 6x plus b. And uh, we need to know x and y so we can solve for b. I know that x equals 2. We need to find y. So remembering my original function, f of x was x squared plus 2x minus 15. If you actually plugged in x is 2 to find y, you would get 2 to the second plus 2 times 2 minus 15. 4 plus 4 is 8 minus 15 is negative 7. So this is what I'm working with. Uh, x is 2, y is negative 7, the slope is 6, we're going to solve for b. Uh, negative 7 for y, 6 for m, 2 for x, plus b. Looks like we have 12 plus b equals negative uh, 7, so b must be a negative 19. And so my tangent line equation is y equals 6x minus 19. So we're going to check this on the calculator. Uh, but just to recap, I got my slope 6 from the derivative at 2. I plugged it into y equals mx plus b. I knew x was 2. I used the original function to get my y when x is 2, and then I solved for b. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, graph my original function, x squared, plus 2x minus 15. I'm going to just look at my standard window here. Uh, probably need to go a little bit lower to just see this really well. So maybe instead of going down to negative 10, I'll go down to like um, negative 25. And we can just count by 5, see what that looks like. Okay, looks like a good a normal parabola, a good, good window. I'm also going to graph this uh, tangent line and see if it visually appears that it is a tangent line. So we're going to go y equals um, 6x minus 19. We'll graph that. It does look like a tangent line. Um, it's kind of, it's the graph is kind of crowded right in that area. But if you push trace and do x is 2, you can see that x does appear to be uh, 2 right at the spot where um, where this tangent line is touching the curve. Um, just to get a little bit better window, I might just bring my graph in a little bit. Um, so maybe I'll bring the, the right side of that in to like 5. Maybe that will allow a better picture. Um, let's see. A little bit better. I can bring my, my other side in as well, maybe to like negative 5. Okay, I'm liking that a little bit better. Go to 2 again. You can see, yeah, that does appear to be a, a valid tangent line. Uh, while we're here, we're going to find the normal line as well. So we're going to use the same function. Uh, I will write down what we have so far. Uh, we, had, we had the function f of x. Equals x squared plus 2x minus 15. We had the derivative of 2x plus 2. And we had the tangent line of y equals 6x minus 19. Uh, a normal line is uh, perpendicular to a tangent line.
So going back to the good old days in Algebra 1, if the tangent line uh, slope is 6, the normal line slope is negative 1, 6. You flip the fraction and you flip the sign. You take the negative reciprocal of the slope to get a, a, a perpendicular line. So y for the normal line equals negative 1, 6, x plus b. And we also recall had that point, uh, we had x is 2, and then y was negative 7. So I'm going to just go ahead and plug in negative 7 for y, uh, 2 for x plus b. That's negative 1 third plus b equals negative 7. If you add a third, you're going to get negative 6 and 2 thirds, or we'll just go ahead and call that minus 20 thirds as b. So my normal line is going to be y equals minus 1 6 x minus 20 thirds. And we're going to graph that as well and check it, um, check how it works. So I'll leave my current graph up there. Uh, I'll graph um, negative 1 6 x minus 20 divided by 3. And I'm going to hit graph. And uh, now that graph, it kind of looks perpendicular, but not quite. Uh, the reason for this is the screen is set up as a rectangle. So the tick marks in the horizontal direction are not quite the same size as that in the vertical. So things that are perpendicular sometimes on the calculator don't look like they are. Uh, sometimes you can go to zoom and go to zoom square and that can remedy this. Um, the problem with zoom square is it takes you back to the original 10 by 10 window. So um, maybe if I, if I turn off the original graph, it'll actually be easier to tell if the subsequent two graphs are perpendicular to each other. So that was the tangent line. That was the normal line. It looks a little bit more perpendicular, but it's hard to see for sure. Um, so this is one initial example of using the definition of a derivative to uh, find the tangent line and the normal line.